pride is a protest. But as well as being a protest, pride is a celebration. It's meant to be a celebration. I started writing this play as I lay on my bed in the middle of my working day in tears, feeling hopeless, feeling beaten, feeling like Pinocchio, desperately pleading that he's a real boy while being met at every turn by insistence that he isn't. Leaks in the media suggest that the government plans to throw out two years of consultation around reforming the Gender Recognition Act. The Tories seem to think that 70% of respondents being in favour of reform that allows trans people to define our own gender, use the correct toilets, not put ourselves in harm's way, points not to the great British public being more accepting than expected, but to the consultation being hijacked by trans rights activists. A majority of 52% was enough for Brexit to mean Brexit, but a majority of 70% could mean nothing. My life is not a headline. It's not Twitter fodder or something to be dissected in a blog post. It's not a political bargaining chip or a talking point. I'm a real person. We are real people. So perhaps I can't celebrate Pride quite as readily as I'd like to this year, but I can sure as fuck honour its roots as a protest. People power works. It worked at the Stonewall Inn in 1969. It worked to see Section 28 abolished, the age of consent levelled, marriage equality achieved. It's working around the world right now. In the description of this video, there's a link to a place where you can find out your MP's details. There's also a link to a template written by Wednesday Homes that you can use as a starting point. It shouldn't take most of you more than 15 minutes to send this email. Pride is a protest. We're not done fighting just yet.